Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. 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 Christy and Stephen, we love you and wish you all the happiness in the world. Congratulations. Congratulations, Christy and Stephen. Congratulations to the both of you, Stephen and Christy. You guys are great together. Congratulations, Caroline and Stefan. All right, now. Is that the right wedding? No, I'm just congratulations, Steve and Christy. I'm really happy to have made it up here from Savannah to see you guys get hitched, jump the broom, you know, that whole deal. You guys are going to do great and love you both. Congratulations, Christy and Stephen. That would we be Stephen and Christy, and we love you both. We're really glad you're into the family. Thanks. Congratulations, Christy and Stephen. Congratulations, Stephen and Christy. Congratulations. Congratulations! Congratulations, Stephen and Christy. I'm so happy for you. Congratulations, Christy and Stephen. Um, I hope you're really, really happy together for a really long time. Congratulations, Stephen and Christy. I hope uh, you uh, had a good wedding and uh, had a good honeymoon. Congratulations, Congratulations Laura and Stephen. Everything she says. <laughs> Do everything she says. Listen to everything she says and never argue. You just need to start off telling her how it is. <laughs> That's your best bet. Because if you let no. them win first, they get used to that. <laughs> Put one another first, always. He should probably do most of the things that she says. Not all of them, but most of them. Uh, nod and smile. Stephen, listen to her and don't judge. Stephen, stand up and be a man. Always be truthful to each other, be faithful to each other, and don't go to bed mad. Anything she says. <laughs> what do you think? I agree. <laughs> you should probably do everything she says, you know, just because that's typical. But that won't necessarily keep you happy. Just care about her. Talk to her. Work things out between the two of them. Keep his mouth shut. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> just be a good listener and be there for her when he needs to be and uh, support her. Yeah, you give the good Never advice. say no. <laughs> just let her continue to go out with us and you'll be fine. Yeah. All right. Uh, just do everything she wants, Stephen. You'll be you'll be fine. Yeah. Be patient. You know, <laughs> guys do stupid stuff. Forgive him ahead of time and just remember, we do dumb shit. <laughs> she should maybe do what he asked her to do. <laughs> Keep her nasal passages clear. Christy, love your man. Christy, just be yourself. You're just fine. She should do all the same. Okay. Agree to disagree. And agree to disagree. <laughs> Cook really good meals. Um, Keep be very understanding, <laughs> allow him to go ahead and have his friends and, and be himself, but be a husband too. I say, Christy, that you should do everything Steven says, but actually I think that your best bet is probably to be each other's biggest supporters in everything you do. You talk to him, work things out, try not to draw on other people, because the most important thing is between the two of them. I just take care of him. and. Uh... You know, he'll take care of her, so as long as she takes care of him, and uh, I think it'll work well together for him. Yeah, she should come out and go with us. Because <laughs> Stephen's going to let her. <laughs> Hopefully happy and not chasing little pups around. <laughs> yeah. She will be doing exactly what I'm getting ready to go do, change diapers, give baths, and do lots of feedings. <laughs> Good luck. It's, <laughs> it's a lot of work. You think marriage is work, kids are a lot of work. I look forward to great-grandchildren. Yeah, he'll be living around here, and uh, first kid will be on the way, four years. Eight years, it'll be the same size as Stephen. Trying to find someone to babysit all the kids. Oh, uh, they'll be, he'll have a good job, she'll still have a good job. They'll probably have a kid, buy a house maybe, I don't know. Obviously she's got a great job. Hopefully Boone lands himself a good job and they both can start uh, having little Booners running around and gracing the earth with 
the spawn of their kind. <laughs> Christy and Steven, I hope you're still around here because we want to see you and both. And the babies. That would be great. At least just one baby, no more than one. One baby right now. I think that they'll have kids and be very happy. A baby in, in their own home. Oh, I hope they stay here locally, but that just depends on the job market. I think probably five years, you're probably looking at some kids. Um, but they're both real hard workers. It's hard to tell where they'll end up there. They both have a lot of good goals and good plans. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's going to be babies and puppies. <laughs> yeah, they already have Cindy and Rudy. They already so. have puppies. There's going to be more puppies and babies. <laughs> well, they're, of course, going to have a couple puppies since they already have them. And I would say that they're going to start having kids, say, in the next year or two. So, and then, you know, they'll buy their first house. How many kids? Total? Yeah. Six. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I'm expecting they'll live around here because her job's here and it's looking good um, and hopefully he'll have a job that's good um, and they'll have to decide about kids one of those talking to each other things but hopefully they'll still be together and having fun now nah, yeah I picture him living around here getting a house somewhere and uh, having a pretty big family probably a couple kids I think and uh, I think it'll be great together oh they'll be living yeah right they'll here. still be here their families are all here Most of the stories with Christy involve me threatening to kill ex-boyfriends. <laughs> we don't want to talk about that here. The best story I have on Laura is when I was about four months pregnant, she wanted to do an April Fool's joke on Stephen. So at work, I peed on two pregnancy stick tests. And she went home that evening and told Stephen she was pregnant. Told him it was a big joke. The first thing he said was, I've been holding a pee stick that somebody else peed on. <laughs> They're very pretty together. They look really good together. I'm going to tell you a good story 20 years from now. Ooh. And that'll be their marriage. Well, we took Christy to the bathroom tonight in her wedding dress because she can't go to the bathroom by herself in her wedding dress. So we are the closest people to her tonight so far. But when she was going to the bathroom, I told her when I was potty training her, I'd always give her gummy bears if she went potty and she was a good girl. And I told her I didn't have any gummy bears with me, so she had me sing her a song. She wanted her to sing, so... We're so. singing in the toilet. <laughs> well, we're holding up her dress. <laughs> yeah. Very intimate moment. <laughs> I was at my brother's in Illinois, and I kind of thought they were going to get engaged. But I told her that if they got engaged while I was out there, I was going to be gone for a week. And I said, if you get engaged while I'm gone, you can't show anybody the ring or tell anyone until I get back. Well, I'd only been there a couple days and they got engaged. So she sends me a picture on my cell phone of her ring and says, here it is, so she could go ahead and tell everyone. Steven is just awesome. He is one of the most heart, he's got a heart of gold. Christy has had different fellas in her life over time and I've never liked any of them. And I didn't tell her I liked Steven until I was sure they were going to stay together because you know when a mom says she likes your boyfriend, it gets kind of weird Nicky. And I was afraid <laughs> that she would not like him as much as she thought I really liked him. So yeah, I think he's perfect for her. I just love him to pieces. I could have interviewed everybody in the world and couldn't have found a better match for Christy. That's true. Every time that Christy talks about Steven, she gets this little smile on her face and that um, it is better to watch her when she's happy talking about Steven than probably any other time that I've ever seen her. Well, I think that it has made her really happy, which is the most important thing. Um, and I hope that it's something that she can look back on later and see the people that were here for her and the people that loved her and loved him and wanted them to be happy together. Um, because we do. And wanted things to go the way that they wanted them to go and um, that we just want them to be happy whatever they want. So uh, we went camping one time up in the woods and we had his four-wheeler and we were staying the night, campfire, the whole deal. It was, we stayed the night and woke up in the morning and uh, he started flipping out because uh, he couldn't find the four-wheeler keys, he couldn't find his wallet, he couldn't find his watch. 
and he was just all tore up. We ran down to his house and looked for the stuff. I mean, hours. It was probably a couple hours. We made our way back up. Keys were in the four-wheeler. The wallet was sitting on the seat along with his watch. <laughs> I don't know, they just get along well. Like I said, I've known Stephen for a long time, and uh, so, you know, I've known <laughs> all the different shenanigans he's been around with the girls and other things. So. But just the way he talked about her, I knew that uh, he thought she was special and uh, that it was going to come to this, and I knew they'd be together for a long time. A long and happy marriage, and just stick together and work through the hard stuff. That's the easiest thing. Best of luck, always love each other, count on each other and be every, be each other's friend. Good luck you two. I hope you all a long and happy marriage. Christy, you're my sister and you're kind of a butthole but when it comes right down to it you're good to me and I know you love me and I love you too. And Stephen, I couldn't have picked out a better person for my sister than you and I love you as well so I hope you two are very very happy oh I, I hope they have a long and prosperous and happy life uh, always put the Lord first like their service said and I think they will be if they do that uh, best of wishes to you guys I love you both uh, good luck best wishes to both of you Christy and Steven I wish you both the best I hope you have a good honeymoon uh, hope everything goes well for you and good fortune to both of you. All I gotta say is congratulations. Boone, you're my favorite dentist. You'll get that. And Christy, I'll see you guys in a couple weeks. If you have as good a marriage as we've had, as your other grandparents have had, you have no worries whatsoever. Love and cherish and you will be happy. We wish you the best, Christy and Stephen, and we love you. Have a great future together. Spend time together, just the two of you, every single week. Make sure you look at each other's eyes and, and just really connect. Don't, don't grow apart. Don't let yourselves get so wound up in careers and stuff and lists. Just really be together. Make sure you're intent on that. Make it, put that on your list to do every week. I love you. I love you both. Christy, I love you. Thank you for including me in your wedding. That was so unbelievable. I, I couldn't even believe it. But I want to thank you and thank Stephen, and I want the two of you to have the most wonderful life. And we're all here to support you and love you. And anytime you need anything, just we're here for you. Stephen and Christy, I hope for you the best. Have a great time on your honeymoon. Party it down and never forget what tonight was all about. And that is that it's about the two of you and nobody else. And congratulations. I hope Christy and Stephen that you have a wonderful life together and that it's a long and a happy life um, and that you find fulfillment in whatever you do. Well, I wish you two the best of luck and uh, uh, a safe honeymoon and a safe trip back and uh, I look forward to seeing you two grow as a couple and have a family and uh, I look forward to seeing you at your 50th anniversary. Best wishes to Lauren and Stephen for a